At this Halifax hotel, there are beds to be made, bathrooms to be cleaned, but most of the staff are still at home in no rush to come back to work. They're talking about uh, uh, making almost as much money, well, a few hundred dollars less uh, to stay at home under that program. And, uh, and so it takes a little bit of uh, encouragement to, to get them back. That program is CERB, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, meant to help laid off workers during the pandemic. But plenty of industries like agriculture, for example, which once heralded the program for its low-wage workers, now say CERB is having an unintended consequence. This farmer already faced problems getting enough migrant workers into the country, and he says the locals don't want the work. And right today they're getting, they're getting federal money to sit home and do nothing, and that's what they're happy to do. He says hundreds of thousands of dollars of his strawberries could go to waste because of his predicament. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business says a third of its members have the same problem, struggling to fill jobs despite depression-level unemployment. It's difficult. I think that there's a couple of things, you know, aside from the economic one, there are people that are genuinely nervous about going back to work and exposing themselves to COVID-19. Others want the program modified to create an incentive for workers to go back on the job. I think we're going to have to make some adjustment to allow those businesses to operate, but at the same time, not disadvantage the workers, but at the same time assist the employers in getting their employees back to work. Ottawa has already extended its wage supplement program to help employers pay workers' salaries so they'll have jobs to go back to. And it's considering other changes. But for now, back at the hotel, it's all hands on deck to try to ramp up business. It's just that there are fewer hands to do the work. Well, right now I'm cleaning floors and making beds. <laughs> Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.